<laughs> got a pear day on, I've got to open it. Well, I have one of those little bottle openers, cap lifters in the, in the, in the drawer, but I particularly like clever ones which do unusual things or just look nice. So here's a bottle I want to use. Look at this one here for a bottle opener. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, that is a lovely bit of moulding. A really nice piece of plastic. And a very strong metal piece at the end. Place it in there and it'll lift it up. Oops, crazy. It doesn't hold it, so it's going to fall off. Never mind. But that is a very, very nice, and it feels good ergonomically. That feels very nice in the hand. So I'm very pleased to have that in my collection. There's one that baffles me a bit. It's um, it's well known that when you've got pen knives, particularly not just thin pen knives, at the base of blades, they very often have a little bottle opener. Why not? Why not? It's a very obvious thing to have, but a very small one. Where is the bottle opener in here? Well, it's a trick pen knife, amongst other things. That's about... A trick pen knife, and the idea is. To get at the bottle opener, you've got to open the pen knife, haven't you? So you push that, you know, you try to lift up, it won't work. You push again, you turn it upside down, and you push. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, how do we do it? No. Well, eventually you learn that you've got to have it this way up like that. And then when you push, now it opens. Very clever idea. So here's the thing that's causing me concern. I've got to watch this because it's a sharp blade too. At the base of the thing is very obviously a little bottle opener, but is that going to work? No, it's far too small. Look at it. I don't know what it is about this. It just it doesn't seem to want to get in into it. it it's uh, it's the wrong size. It's too small. I've got pen knives which have that exactly that at the base, but because they're a little bit larger, they work perfectly well as a bottle opener. This one doesn't seem to want to work. Oh well, I better put it away and I watch my fingers because this is a very sharp knife. Push it in push it in, no, doesn't work, oh, 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 I think if I do it that way like that, yes, put it away, use it as pen knife, but as a bottle opener, useless, <laughs> never mind, here's something very, very far from useless, which one of my colleagues gave me at Christmas time, you even have my name in it, I like the idea very much, and it, says it's a, it's a lucky little bottle of wine isn't it and it's got three functions first of all it's got a big strong magnet there so it will hold itself i'll put a bottle cap on it to hold it hold it but it sits on the fridge as a fridge magnet then you've got two things to open with it one is the bottle cap lifter which is that one there and it works very well for that and secondly blow me if they haven't got a wine pork remover my goodness me, all in one piece. Very nice indeed, and that works very well. I've tried it as a, as a bottle opener. There's a very clever one which we included in our Christmas pack one year. I think this is ingenious. It looks a bit large and ungainly, but actually it's got a very clever idea. The idea is if you're in a pub and you've got your bottle in your hand and you need the other hand to hold a glass, how can you fumble away with, well, you have got to put the glass down, but you don't want to. So what you do is you set it up like this, you hold that with a hand like that, with a finger over there like that. This hand's holding the glass, and when you lift with like that, boom, look at that. And not only that, there's a magnet there which is holding it and stopping it from dropping off. That's absolutely ingenious. So, so there are some good bottle things around. There's one final one, which is um, probably the best of the lot, this one here. Look at this. Let's see if I can bring up the camera and show. How about that? If I load it, see what's going to happen. Load it like that. Ah, spring. Oops, is it going to stay there? Yes, yeah, so it's locked in now. So the idea is now is to use that on a bottle. So here's a bottle. Put it back on again. Give a bit of push to push it in. There we are. And now use my special bottle opener. Over there like that. Oops, Jody. Lift it up. Nope. Oh. It's a bit of fiddle, this, actually. Mm. I think the bottle cap's too distorted. Let's try another one. There we are. That's clicked. Ah, there we are. 
There it is. There's a magnet there holding it. Now what do you do? You fire it across the room, of course. What else would you do? Push the button here and whoa, right across the room. Wonderful idea, that. So you have a bit of fun opening a bottle and then sending these whizzing across like little projectiles across the room. Good stuff. I'm still bothered about that fact that there's an awful lot of these being thrown away. I can't recycle them, so what else could you do with them? One thing which I showed just very recently was make a practical joke out of it by putting a very strong glue on the bottom of this. Then you, with this sort of glue on the bottom, you have it on the table or on the floor or somewhere, and they can't lift it up when they try to pick it up. That's a nice joke, but I'm still thinking of ideas that you can do with it. I have been shown some very nice things being done by artists, using them as pixels for making shapes and so on. But I'm still puzzled about the fact that you should be able to do more than just, you know, um, make a spinning top, which sometimes doesn't work. Incidentally, looking for things which um, can be recycled. This is uh, not a bottle cap, but it's part of the top of a, of a, um, of a champagne bottle. Don't throw these away because they can be used as a demonstration of a very nice optical trick, which was shown to me in Atlanta about three years ago. You hold it up to people's eyes like that. Yep. Here we go. Hold it very still and it should invert. So the back bit comes to the front and the front bit goes to the back. Jordan, isn't it? Just like the inverted dragon and so on. You see what's happening. You've got that smaller ring at the back, which is, appears to be in the front, but it's not. It's so bizarre. Try and get it into focus because it's a very fine optical illusion. So. An extraordinary illusion, which means you shouldn't be throwing away things like bottle caps. Well, a few more ideas needed. Nor little cages that go on top of champagne bottles. They're all could be put to other uses. Huh. He's looking at you. <laughs>